and we're off to race number four. It's been a long break, but I've had a lot of time to get ready to go and do a little cross training on my dirt bike and mountain bike and uh, get amped up and ready to go again. Should be fun. things about traveling and traveling to the races and just backcountry riding is traveling across the northwest and you know seeing this beautiful country and and not taking it for granted and checking out the, the beautiful mountains and the beautiful creations and tomorrow we'll, we'll uh, swing by the Black Canyon near Montrose Colorado I've always wanted to check it out and it's kind of along the way so might as well check it out Eating rules in my truck. No dropping of crumbs on the seat or on yourself because they'll eventually spill down to the seat or the floor and then I'll have to vacuum them. And uh, no garbage in the doors. And then the garbage goes into a bag that then goes into the garbage at the next gas station. Done. Rule number two. The parking lot might be a little muddy, so we need to not get the inside of my truck muddy. You know, it goes, go stomp your feet off in the snow, then get in the truck. Or just ride the back, the backpack. hours later uh, 850 miles finally made it to Crescent Butte Colorado as you can see it's one of our cooler venues as far as uh, accommodations Mount Crescent Butte and the whole hill resort being on board to let us hill climbers come race at their mountain uh, really cool scenic area and uh, it's gonna be a good time let's go kick some butt
This is what happens when your socket pops out of your shoulder. It does not feel good. Yeah. Popped out of the shoulder on the race course. 20 feet later, I hit another bump and popped back in. So it didn't pop out all the way, but we called the orthopedic surgeon and see what he has to say. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to race tomorrow. I still ran two classes after just because I felt like I should. And I got in. Come on back, man. Let's take a look at it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is have you come on over here. Harder to see, but you're looking right through in this area. There. It is. And if you're yeah. going into a rock garden or a mogul field tentative, you're going down. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Not what you want to hear, but it's that's what it is. Colorado has not treated me good so far. Uh, yeah, I found out my labrum, 95% uh, sure is the edge of it's kind of knocked off, so my my socket is kind of loose in there. Um, got to splint it up a little bit today, and I'm gonna go at least take a practice run and see how it feels and go from there. So I guess I get to go do my practice run now. So we'll see how it goes. But. Yeah, so just ran six stock up here in Crested Butte after the shoulder injury and uh, salvage a third. You know, I, when you're not able to ride to your optimal level and you have other athletes that train and ride really well, it's pretty much impossible to get first. Uh, I am glad that I pulled off a third. I have four more classes to go. I'm just trying to ride really smart and conservatively, um, not hit the bumps too terribly hard and uh, you know, keep my shoulder in check and muscles engaged and just really trying to be smart about it even though I don't know if I should really be racing, but I am anyways, because I just feel like I should be, so I am. I had to call it quits yesterday, which was really hard for me to do, uh, watching all the other racers go up and seeing my name in the running order. Part of life and part of racing, I guess, and I'll look forward to charging in hard last year, but um, at any rate, get an MRI and probably gonna need surgery, so I'll be out for a few months, but get back into it hard and start dirt biking and mountain biking and getting ready for snowmobile season next year. But since I can't be racing, I figure you might as well come watch the King runs and see who wins. Sometimes goodbye.